Welcome back. You know, the kitchen has been involved with ending homelessness throughout the years. They continue their effort. With me, I have Malia Spencer with The Kitchen, and I also have Dennis Cleveland with Affordable Towing, who's part of this effort as well. Malia, I'm, I'm gonna turn to you first. You bet. We're getting into the time of season. You know, During the summer or during the spring, homeless people may find it a little easier to be outdoors. Now we're getting into the cold weather. Mm -hmm. They need help. How are you gearing up for this at the kitchen? That's right, with a change of seasons comes a change in need for the homeless that we serve. And so we're asking for the community's help to help us with some of those things to keep them warm during mm -hmm. this change of season time. And that would be blankets, tarps, flashlights even as well. Um, those little hot hands that keep your hands warm at maybe football games, our homeless folks can use that too, and warm socks. Yeah, I mean, it, it's really a common sense kind of thing. Imagine yourself in the elements, mm -hmm. what kind of things would you like to have? That's a great way to think about it. And um, another thing also that we need that we don't always think about, but if they are out on the streets, they still need paper products like toilet paper and paper towels. That's still a need. Not necessarily keeping them warm, but a definite need while they're out on the streets. Yeah, think of the needs rather than the wants. People want a lot of things, but they need certain things. Absolutely. What about the emergency shelters or shelters? Uh, you know, how, What does the kitchen have in place or putting in place for that? That's right. Well, our new emergency shelter um, will be opening this fall. We're very excited about it and it will be housing those that just need a temporary place that before we can put them into permanent housing. Mm -hmm. But we want to make it still feel like a home. So we're asking for the community's help and some of the things that we still need to make those apartments that they have a place that they can walk into and feel like home. And those things would be a small coffee pot, a pillow, cooking supplies like uh, cooking pans and maybe little muffin tins slotted spoons as well. Again, the necessities, that's mm -hmm. what you need. How can people get uh, involved with that? Because in a second, I'm going to turn to Dennis here because, yeah. you know, he's gotten involved with this. But how can people get involved with helping the kitchen out in its effort? There's so many ways to get involved, whether it's time or your sharing of your talents or also of your treasures. And you can give us a call and or visit our website with all of our needs as well. All right. Now I'm going to turn to Dennis. Dennis, yes, you've, this isn't your first rodeo. You've been involved, you know, for a number of years here. Yep. Why did affordable towing, why did Dennis Cleveland get involved with the kitchen? Well, we've always been involved with homeless and addictions and different ministries with uh, throughout the town. And we've uh, we've ate at the kitchen and it's pretty good. Sure. And part of the job of the towing is to help people. I mean, we're in the business of that. And with the kitchen, they help people continually for 35 years. They've worked in the community to help and add a, a goodness to our place. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, one of the things that you do at Affordable Towing, you're there to help people anywhere, anytime. Yep. You know, you're, you're there to lend a hand and you're just kind of carrying that work on, aren't you? Absolutely, and we work with several ministries in town, but the kitchen is a major project and it's a, it's a wonderful thing what they do. The kitchen needs volunteers to come in. I mean, there, it doesn't run itself. It's run by people and it's on a, on a thin budget. Mm -hmm. And so uh, they can help that way. There's a list of stuff. They can pull a website up and there's a list of needs, like she's mentioned, that are on there that if you've got something you're going to put in a yard sale, just take it down and donate it. That's pretty simple. Pretty simple. Yeah. And, and you can call them. They've got a phone number. It's a 417-837-1500. You can call them down there and just ask if there's anything they need on a certain day. You need some help tonight? I got a few hours. I'll come down and give you a hand. It can be something that is day to day. It's Absolutely. not necessarily a yeah. month or a year. Yeah. They need things now. Right. Yeah, you don't have to make a year long commitment to go down and give them a hand for a day. Now, of course, you know, you're, you're talking kind of to individuals, but you know, like affordable towing, businesses can get involved the same way. Absolutely. There's some advertising businesses, which a lot of people have seen our clips on, and uh, it helps the kitchen because it puts the awareness out there. And uh, I don't know if you realize it, but television advertising is expensive. You know that. <laughs> as long as it gets the job done. But it does get the word out and the kitchen needs that. And so we've tried to help that way too. All right, tell folks again how people can get involved. Give them the website, the phone number they can call. That's right. We're so thankful for your help and we encourage you to come and help us at 417-837-1500 or visit us on our website, thekitcheninc.org. Get involved with The Kitchen.